super duper good morning to all of you on this sunday so every day we are taking sarthi class live from 11 o'clock to 1:30 today we have taken a pause we have completed all the five heads set off and clubbing right yes in detail we are learning the concepts so now we have taken a pause over there today to solve this mtp okay right so that you get lot of corrections or alertness wherever presentation is required there's a very nice technique of how you read the question in exam is very important and then second thing is suppose there's a small question like set off and carry forward at the most it should be completed in 3/4 page to so how to not go on writing one and a half page notes because yahan kisi ko explain nahi karna hai valuer ko nahi padhana hai unko malum hai right so these are the very small pitfalls you can avoid corrections and lot of concepts we will be learning in the coming two hours but the first promise is as i have messaged to all in the whatsapp and telegram telegram group is are you all having a print out of this we are solving ca inter mock test paper 1 right now and this video is very very helpful for ca and cms students all almost the exam questions level and everything is same there's little bit difference in the paper pattern agreed but whatever i'm giving you today that uh, because i have corrected so many bundles of paper for the mtp as a teacher when we are in teaching we are not allowed to correct the final paper but when i have corrected these mtp papers i have come to know the trend also ki kahan galti hoti hai in the first hour what you can do in the second hour so lot of things from my side i want to share so that you outperform super well in income tax paper some of the students appreciated so much it's like you know answers are printed not a single scratching not mistake that shows they know the concepts in income tax also even in gst eight marks question you all know that it is fixed output gst minus input gst opening stock ka gst and what is the gst payable so there also here also literally printed answers appreciated all the students who are working really well and more for all of you right very good morning very good morning we gone little late because of uh, the theek hai chal late to late no reasoning chalo let us quickly start we will start with mcqs and direct taxations and then we will go to indirect taxation anyone is having any doubt you can please comment in the live chat ask your doubts koi doubt chota bada nahi hai doubt to doubt hi hai to aapko agar koi doubt hai to aap pooch sakte hain zarur yes chalo let us make our sunday best generally i rarely in a year it must be like out of 50 to 2 sundays we are taking the class but aap zarur hai because very less time is left now okay so hoping you all have this print out this is the last attempt where you have 60 40 and now from next attempt it's going to be 50 50 okay right in your 60 marks direct taxation paper you have division 1 where you have i'm giving you the mindset ha huh? so i think you can go by this and mcqs the answers are really very nearby so be careful about that of course you can use one page of your answer sheet for doing the working listen one thing when they give you case study actually it's as good as you are solving eight marks problem fir usme agar gav kitna hai first mcq what is your house property income second mcq what is your other source total grossing up third so in you know it's always very good to keep a rough page heading likh in your answer sheet and solve over there very quickly rather than trying to do everything in calculator theek hai to hum pehle ek bar paper pattern dekh lete hain ki kaisa hai so that mindset is prepared 60 marks paper for direct taxation 40 marks for indirect taxation may 24 onwards it's going to be 50 yeah so here you have a case study and related to that case study mcq each mcq is for two marks make sure even if you don't write this answer correctly this numbering should be correct that if fifth ka answer a hai to aap a dhyan se likh ke aaye theek hai right then more mcqs are there second third fourth and fifth so that makes it as 18 marks for the mcqs okay 
and now in B division, you have question number one compulsory for 14 marks. Either it is salary income, other source, deductions and calculate the tax or it is business head, deductions, calculate the tax. Ma'am, capital gain, house property, that comes separately. Clubbing, it's a part of question number one. But set off, mindset prepare raho, ki set off ke liye four to six mark ka question alag se aata hai. Five heads of income and if anyone is asking me, ma'am, aur kya padna hai, set off carry forward, sixth head, samaj ke pad lo, deductions. Deductions and set off have got weightage equal to your, this, what do you say, chapters, okay? So question number one is compulsory to attempt, not compulsory to do first. So always I say the first impression is best impression. You Whatever you know well, you start with that. So there's a 14 marks question. You can see we are going to solve it in writing. This time it's salary, income and deductions. Or they'll give you business head, other source and deductions or clubbing like that. Then out of... Um, any three questions, two questions you have to attempt. So if you attempt extra, ma'am, will they correct and give the marks for whatever is the highest answer is no. Nahi milte. Hmm? Main brief mein bata rahi hu, ye sab aapko malum hai. So all the questions are for uh, 14 marks only. 4 plus 9 if you can check this. 5 and then 5 and 10 like that. Okay. Same with the GST. Okay. So just a second. I think better mindset. We should be very clear. And for CMS students, I'll take those. Oh, this is what we did yesterday. Huh? I gave like mantra this set off and in two hours lecture, it will be surely clear to you. So this was very nice what we did set off rules and then we solved problem yesterday. Huh? But right now, just very briefly, I'm giving you the paper pattern for the CA exam. TMA students also, I'll give you old, new, both syllabus ke liye right now. In uh, direct taxation, 60 marks. And you have here indirect taxation, that is 40 marks. Question number one is your case study. Case study is five questions and two marks, 10. And question number, Usi case study may he, the second part. This is all division A. Division A. Yes, are you willing to write this and do this with me? Hmm? Two, three, four, and five. That makes it 18 marks MCQs. But these are, looks very easy. But it is very, very like in-depth questions are there in MCQs. If you are stuck up, please don't give much more than required time to each question. There's no ego fight going on. Chordo, baad mein aake you can do. Division B. Okay. Question number one for 14 marks. Computation of income ka question hai. Right. And this is 14 marks. One question. It is compulsory. But it is not compulsory to attempt it first. So if you know question number 2, 3, 4, well, do anything. 2, 3, 4. Any 14 marks, 2 questions, that is 28. Okay, aapka? Hmm? So that makes it as 60 marks. Okay. Mindset should be clear that you're not going to attempt extra question thinking ki ma'am somewhere they'll give marks. Okay, right. Now when you're solving these questions of 14 marks, in this you have combinations. 5 plus 5 marks set off, 5 marks capital gain, 5 marks house property, 4 marks ke liye clubbing or you have like this 8 and 6. 8 marks, 1 TDS question is fixed. Six marks question may generally comes your capital gain or house property. Five, five marks question you have set off. And definitely one question comes for four marks on return of income, pan, aadhar. See, these are many times I've seen students do so much of hard work for five heads of income and they ignore it. TDS, eight marks, return of income. 
आपके बारह मार्क्स तो यही हो गए बिल्कुल रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम एंड पैन कार्ड डेफिनेटली कम्स वन वन बिट दे सम हाउ दे एनी डाउट इन द पेपर पैटर्न फॉर द डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस या दिस गिव्स यू माइंड सेट बेटा की कैसे चॉइस करना है बिकॉज यू गेट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ऑफ रीडिंग टाइम सो यूज इट अप्रोप्रिएटली रीच क्वाइट एग्जाम के पहले पहुंच जाऊं और एग्जाम के पहले ज्ञान लेना नहीं ज्ञान देना नहीं सो यू कैन सिट समेर रिलैक्स where there's no disturbance and just when the bell rings go inside last moment when someone is thinking oh ditti to will never answer after the exam is over also she is not ready to answer or discuss the paper it's okay my mindset is i'm putting all the stationery in the zip and how i'm going to prepare for the next exam if you can maintain this mindset it's going to work awesome for all of you theek hai chalo तो यहाँ पे फिर से आपके एमसीक्यूज जैसे 18 मार्क्स हैं यहाँ पे 12 मार्क्स सो इन टोटल इन योर 100 मार्क्स पेपर 30 मार्क्स आर लाइक एमसीक्यूज ओके सो हियर यू हैव सम 12 मार्क्स एमसीक्यूज जनरली दे आस्क यू फाइव क्वेश्चंस फॉर टू मार्क्स एंड दैट मेक्स इट 10 मार्क्स and then two questions of one marks that makes it okay again same here division b this is division a okay so here question number 1 is compulsory question number 1 is compulsory <coughs> yeah this division b is for 28 marks and question number 1 is compulsory for 8 marks and generally they ask the question from itc input tax credit what is output gst what is input gst and what is the gst payable theek hai this is what they are asking now question number 2 3 and 4 any two you have to attempt any two you have to attempt yeah these are these two questions are for um question and marks if you ask two questions are 10 marks 20 marks 28 marks and in 10 marks the best 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 part of the income tax paper is 10 mark ka bada question koi nahi aayega 5 plus 5 mark hoga aapko या सिक्स प्लस फोर फोर में भी टू और टू रहते हैं ऐसे एनी डाउट एम आई गिविंग यू द राइट माइंड सेट चलो वेरी क्विकली टू द पॉइंट एंड लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द एमसीक्यू फॉर एमसीक्यू वी शुड रीड द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली एंड वाइल डूइंग द क्वेश्चन आई मेक श्योर आई एम क्लियरिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल्सो फॉर यू बिफोर आई स्टार्ट two concepts which are asked in every exam every exam kabhi mcq kabhi case study kabhi aapka problem mein pooch lete hain and my paper correction experience students do mistakes so i want to clarify take a pause go to capital gain chapter with me there you have a concept called as advance money forfeited i have sold you the property surya and i have taken money from you and after one month when we decided to go for registration of property surya is saying no ma'am according to my astrology the vastu of the property is not good and surya is cancelling the deal i will not return the token money i will seize this whenever advance money received is forfeited after 1st april 2014 it is straight tax as income from other sources yeah ma'am we know it we have solved the questions अच्छी बात है मैं आपको एग्जैक्टली exactly वो पिटफॉल स्ट्रेस करके उसका एक्सप्लेनेशन दे रही हूँ क्योंकि 80-90 परसेंट स्टूडेंट्स वेयर दे हैव डन द मिस्टेक इन दिस बंडल ऑफ पेपर्स व्हाट आई हैव करेक्टेड फॉर एमटीपी तो मैं वही आपसे डिस्कस कर रही हूँ सो दैट व्हेन आई सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन आई डोंट है माई पॉइंट क्लियर टू यू एडवांस मनी फोरफीटेड आफ्टर फर्स्ट अप्रिल टू इज ऑलवेज टैक्सीबल एज इनकम फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेस before 1 for 2014 whatever advance money is forfeited that is deducted from the cost 
एंड फ्रॉम द नेट कॉस्ट इंडेक्सेशन इज डन अभी मैं प्रॉब्लम में करूंगी पर आपको कॉन्सेप्ट समझ में आया After I cancel the deal with Surya, I have sold the property to Rajiv. So when I have sold the property to Rajiv, I will take sale consideration, less expenses, and index cost of acquisition. So whatever is the original cost, reduce your advance money forfeited, and then net co index करो. Ninety percent of the students have missed out this step, and so from there the capital goes wrong. कैपिटल गेन गलत तो उसका सेक्शन 54 54 का एक्सेंशन गलत हो गया बेटा ठीक है सो दिस इज वन थिंग सेकंड थिंग इज वेन एवर यू सेल अ प्रॉपर्टी घर खरीद बेचा घर खरीदा यू टेक 54 फोर एक्सेंशन प्रॉमिस द न्यू हाउस यू विल नॉट सेल फॉर थ्री इयर्स इफ यू सेल इट इज टैक्सेबल एज शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन दिस इज वॉट इज रिटर्न इन एवरी बुक एंड दिस इज वॉट इज टॉट पिटफॉल land and building above 2 years if it is held and sold it's long term capital please watch the youtube live lectures in that i've written the topic capital gain ke pehle lecture mein first 15 minutes i've given you definition of how to categorize the asset as short term and long term so land and building if it is held for more than 2 years and sold but within 3 years you have sold Is it revoked? Capital gain जो पहले exemption लिया वो फिर से भरना पड़ेगा Yes. So the cost of the second asset is reduced with that cost, but this capital gain will not be short term. It will be long term. Ma'am, literally this is taught in the classes कि whenever exemption is revoked, it's short term capital gain. और logically सही है but अगर land and building दो साल के बाद बेचे और तीन साल के पहले बेचे तो it has to be long term. it's not short term third and last point because these are the points i'm i'm saying watch my playlist last 4 or 5 years i have always been solving uh, solving rtp mtp ca students ke liye alag hai cma ke liye alag playlist hai ye to main cma ko aaj recommend kar rahi hu attend karne ke liye because you are learning this knowledge which is very helpful for your exam also deductions exactly same question what was there in the exam earlier here in ca exam was asked now so all the level of the problems are same ha huh, suno so stamp duty value section 50c in capital gains is please comment below if the way i am saying orally is this clear or you want me to write and show everything ha huh? so if you can comment i will do it as you wish theek hai this is what gives me confidence so i am doing like that बट मैंने तो एग्जाम क्लियर कर लिया 2099 नवंबर में करके 2000 में आई कैन सी आपको लिखना है तो आपको कैसे समझ में आ रहा है इफ यू कमेंट डेफिनेटली आई कैन डू इट अकॉर्डिंगली सुनो सेक्शन 50 सी सेज इफ एक्चुअल सेल कंसीडरेशन इज लेस स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू इज मोर देन टेक स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द सेल कंसीडरेशन एंड कैपिटल अच्छा ठीक है बट विच स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दे रीड एवरीथिंग बट अगर इतना बड़ा है ना तो यहां से यहां से यहां से यहां आके छोड़ देते हैं एंड दैट्स वेयर यू लूज द मार्क्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स तो अभी थोड़ा और इन डेफ्थ पढ़ो स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू ऑन द डे आई टुक टोकन मनी फ्रॉम यू अदर देन कैश यू पेड मी टोकन मनी बाय आर टी जी एस निफ्ट यू पी आई एनी मोन्स देन स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू ऑन द डेट ऑफ अग्रीमेंट जिस दिन हमने टोकन मनी लिया आपसे इफ नॉट After one month, पूरा पेपर वर्क हो गया चलो रजिस्ट्रार के ऑफिस जाते हैं देन स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू ऑन द डेट ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन इफ टोकन मनी इज आईर नॉट रिसीव मैंने कुछ भी पहले पैसे एडवांस नहीं लिए और इफ टोकन मनी इज रिसीव इन कैश यू वॉन्ट टू राइट देन राइट दिस दो मिनट लगेगा बेटा पक्का हम लोग अभी एमसीक्यू शुरू कर रहे हैं पर ये जो पॉइंटर्स है ना ये बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट है एडवांस मनी फोरफिटेड आफ्टर बिल्कुल लिखो वन फोर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन कहां टैक्स होगा इनकम फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेस एडवांस मनी फोरफिटेड बिफोर वन फोर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन रिड्यूज फ्रॉम कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन एंड देन आप उसको इंडेक्सेशन करो जो रिड्यूस कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन है ना बेटा 
उसको इंडेक्सेशन हो सेकेंड एक्चुअल सेल्स कंसिडरेशन इज सिक्सटी लैक्स स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू इज एटी लैक्स ऑन रजिस्ट्रेशन हाँ एंड स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू ऑन अग्रीमेंट द डेट वी डिड अग्रीमेंट इज एटी टू लैक्स एंड दे गेव टोकन मनी रुपीज फाइव लैक बाय चेक रिसीव्ड आर यू ऑल विथ मी पांच लाख रुपए आई हैव टेकन ऑन द डेट ऑफ अग्रीमेंट डेट ऑफ अग्रीमेंट में भी ले से टेंथ अप्रिल ट्वेंटी टू डेट ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन में भी टेंथ मे ट्वेंटी टू तो विच वैल्यू आई विल टेक एज पर सेक्शन फिफ्टी सी आई एम नॉट आस्किंग यू टू लर्न ऑल द सेक्शन बट थोड़े सेक्शन आने हैं बेटा जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो एज पर फिफ्टी सी क्या लेना है आपको फिफ्टी सी स्टैम ड्यूटी वैल्यू बट विच स्टैम ड्यूटी वैल्यू ऑन द डेट ऑफ अग्रीमेंट क्यों क्योंकि टोकन मनी क्या आया है चेक से आया है अगर टोकन मनी इट डजन का इट्स नॉट कमिंग और इट्स कमिंग इन कैश टेक इट आई होप द रीजन आई एम डूइंग इट इज वेन आई रीड द केस स्टडीज बीच बीच में मुझे एक्सप्लेनेशन के लिए डाइवर्ट ना होना पड़े Are you all with me and all clear until now? Please comment below if this is clear or not. Chalo. today's classes i have to speak on and on and so many mtp videos are already there that's what students are saying ma'am you are late because i was taking sathi batch but i assure you coming one and a half hour you will not only solve mtp you will learn lot of concepts also here okay chal ramesh is an indian resident purchase a residential house in gwalior for 28.5 lakhs When you purchase the house before one for two thousand one, ah, nineteen seventy five, eighty five, ninety five. Those days indexation was not there, so you have to take the fair market value as on first April two thousand one, but that should not exceed stamp duty value. देखो, fair market value as on first April is thirty three point five. And stamp duty value is thirty two point four. So shall we take fair market or stamp duty value? Stamp duty value. Only this part can be asked in some other exam also in MCQs. So I hope you are gaining lot of knowledge here because it's if it's a Sunday morning and energetically super duper morning. बोल के हमने class शुरू किए हैं तो इसको worth it करना हमारे हाथ में है, right? So pay attention. Any doubt you have asked. Because you have purchased the property in seventy five, eighty five, ninety five, and indexation CII cost inflation index starts from two thousand one. I need to take the fair market value, but because it's an immovable property, FMV cannot exceed SDV stamp duty value. So we will take thirty two point four. On five twelve, Ramesh entered into agreement to sell the property to Raju, and he took token money. However, Raju did not pay, and deal was cancelled. So, is this token money taxable? Yes. But what was the date? Fifth February two thousand twelve. So, fifth February two thousand twelve. If the token money, okay, fifth February two thousand twelve. <clears throat> if the token money is forfeited, then this is to be. Reduced from original cost. Are you all with me? Original cost में से original cost हमारे लिए क्या है? Thirty two point four. Thirty two point four because actually the original cost is twenty eight point five. But we are taking so many adjustments are there in this MCQ. लग रहा है MCQ, but it is more tricky than solving the problems, है ना? 
but i hope clear to all of you because advance money is forfeited on before 1st april 2014 i will reduce it from the cost and then i will take the indexation 32.4 minus 3.9 chalo now on 15th april 22 our financial year is 20 to 23 ramesh sold the property for 2.10 crores when the stamp duty value of the property is 2.33 crores okay further he purchased two residential house at delhi okay and mumbai okay you can sell one house and buy two house right so ramesh has sold the property actual sale consideration is 210 but stamp duty value kitni hai 2.33 to which value we will take stamp duty value who says this section 50 say okay ramesh signed the agreement to sell the property at mumbai ha huh? ramesh ne ye wala ghar to bech diya aur mumbai mein aur delhi mein property khareed li ab mumbai's property he is selling to his friend's son Vishal for fifty eight lakhs in January twenty three took advance money and sale deed was registered in March. Okay, the समझ में आ रहा है आपको ये घर हमने कब सेल किए fifteen four twenty two so from here three years fifteen four twenty five I'm taking more time for explanation so that You understand the bits. Please keep patience. There is another way. कि क्या MCQ है बस उसको solve करते जाओ लिखते जाओ. But then if your analytical skill is developed in the coming one and a half hour, you will be able to solve these kind of questions independently in exam. I assure you. So 15th April 22 to 25 coming three years. You should not sell the Delhi and Mumbai का घर. But you sold the Mumbai का घर in 28 to ट्वेंटी Twenty-eight-two. The day you received advance is sixty-one lakhs, and on thirty March is sixty-four. So which value we will take sixty-four lakhs? Why? Because stamp duty value you will take sixty-four lakhs as the sale consideration because the advance is received in cash. If advance is received in cash, or if no advance is received, then we have to take the stamp duty value on the date of. registration i would have taken 61 lakhs as my answer if they would have given the token money by check are you all clear so this is all the information two seconds no break because we are already late today but two minutes i'll come back थैंक यू फॉर वेटिंग चल जल्दी से करते हैं ये क्वेश्चन सॉल्व एंड डोंट थिंक कि मैम एमसीक्यूज के लिए इतना सारा केस स्टडी द माइंड सेट इज बेटर दिस इज अ टेन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन टेन मार्क्स सिंगल क्वेश्चन द बिट्स ऑफ दैट दे आर आस्किंग ऑल क्लियर अंटिल नाउ दो आर अटेंडिंग लाइफ कैन पुट मी अ मैसेज की ऑल क्लियर अंटिल नाउ आर नॉट हाँ इज माई एक्सप्लेनेशन क्लियर चलो नाउ What shall be the index cost of acquisition of Gwalior House sold? The first house sold. Huh? I want all of you to write the answer here directly. The main answers, you know how they give the answers. Yera, first ka answer C bit hai, but aaya kaise? To hum yahan solve karenge ki kaise aaya. 
देखो इंडेक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन ऑफ द ग्वालियर हाउस कॉस्ट इज ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव ओरिजिनल इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी सो वी टूक एफ एम वी और we will take the cost as 32.4 and in 2012 advance token money is seized so reduce it from the cost 32.4 minus 3.9 so that is 28.5 are you all with me 32.4 is the original cost which is 28.5 बट देन खींच के हम उसको 2001 वन जहां पे इंडेक्सेशन शुरू होता है 100 तो 2001 में इंडेक्सेशन 100 है वो तो ठीक है अभी 32.4 इज द एफ एम वी दैट्स वॉट वी हैव टेकन द कॉस्ट एंड बिकॉज एडवांस मनी इज फोर फीटेड आई थिंक आई मेड यू राइट या इन 2012 थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व बिफोर यू हैव टू रिड्यूज इट एंड देन टेक इंडेक्स एंड दिस इज हंड्रेड और ये हंड्रेड है और अभी का इंडेक्स कितना है आपको दिया है 331. So what was available in 100 has become 331. So 28.5 into 3. I'm not doing it in notebook because then you will lose the control over question. So I'm solving it here. I hope my screen and everything is clear. So 28.5 lakhs into 331 divided by 100. So it's coming to ninety four lakh thirty three thousand five hundred is your index cost. Now amount of capital gain in the hands of Ramesh for sale of house Gwalior. So sale consideration, how much to take? Ramesh ne Gwalior ka ghar kisi ko sale kiya hai two point ten crores. That is two ten lakhs. But the stamp duty value. So we will always take the stamp duty value as the sale consideration two thirty three crores. And what is the index cost of acquisition? Ninety four two thirty three lakhs, huh? Lakhs ninety four thirty three five hundred. So what is the long term capital gain? Look, two thirty three minus ninety four thirty three five hundred. Yes. Index cost of acquisition. So it is coming to how much? One crore thirty-eight lakhs sixty-six five hundred is the long-term capital gain. But then he has sold this house, and immediately he has purchased two house. He has sold this house, and he purchased two house properties at Delhi, at Delhi and Mumbai. For fifty-four lakhs each, मतलब दो घर खरीदे fifty-four और fifty-four. So can he take section fifty-four? अब सब fifty-four, fifty-four ही है. Fifty-four exemption you can take. Minus fifty-four lakhs for Mumbai house. Minus fifty-four lakhs. You are getting this answer as capital gain. How is it? Is it clear here? Life. Chale aage. I know I'm going little slow in the MCQ, but it's very important. Hai. Amount of capital gain in the hands of Ramesh for sale of property in Mumbai. Now Mumbai house, so it is short term. Mumbai house he has uh, sold sold for sixty four lakhs. I hope ये मैंने आपको already समझा दिया कि sixty four lakhs because it's the stamp duty value and he has uh, uh, in the hands of Ramesh for sale of the house. Hmm. So sale consideration is sixty four lakhs. Cost of acquisition of the house is fifty four lakhs. अभी तो exemption लिया आपने मुंबई के घर का और दिल्ली के घर का. तो मुंबई का घर cost is fifty four lakhs. Reduce the cost because exemption is revoked. See how in depth ten marks question for capital gain. 
and this case study they can generally ask you from salary or capital gain 54 lakhs is the cost and your cost should be reduced till the exemption because why did you sell the house abhi to kharida aur abhi march february mein kharida aur march mein sale kar diya so the exemption what you have availed is revoked so that will become taxable so that will reduce and so your short term capital gain is 64 lakhs this is the answer another way is sale consideration is 64 cost of acquisition no index because it is sold within two months 54 how much is taxable 10 fir jo exemption revoke hua na upar 54 wo bhi to tax hoga na to 64 i hope you are understanding this is very nice to understand beta but in exam, you have to do this. Whenever exemption is revoked for 54, whatever exemption you have availed, that you reduce from the cost and take. Now, amount taxable under 56.2 in the hands of Vishal. Now, ah. Vishal, who has Mumbai ka ghar sale kiya. Vishal is paying 58 lakhs for a house which he is getting in 64 lakhs. Agar ghar ki stamp duty value is 64 lakhs. So Vishal, why Ramesh is selling to you in 58 lakhs? Is Ramesh giving you 6 lakhs rupees gift? Yes, it is taxable. Third bit answer. 64 minus 58. Actual sale consideration is 58. But this is 64. 6 lakhs. Nice. And last one. What shall be the TDS if Ramesh with respect to the sale of property at Gwalior, assumes tax was fully deducted by the buyer. Hmm? Till last year, even if you take stamp duty value, you all know 50 lakhs ke above, if you buy the house, the buyer has to deduct 1% TDS on actual sale consideration. Ye tab ki baat thi, till last year. Last year, I mean, so this financial year 20 to 23, a very important amendment is that if you take sale consideration, what did you take sale consideration, beta? 233 for Ramesh for the Gwalior house. 233. Those actual sale consideration is more, but we have taken 233. So 233 ka 1% the buyer will deduct TDS and pay. 233 lakhs ka 1% is 2,33,000 is the answer. Generally, I've seen students doing this MCQ wrong. You should correct it and not do this mistake in final exam. That even if I have sold the house to you, say, in 60 lakhs, but if the stamp duty value is 80 lakhs, mere le capital gain be 80 lakhs hoga. For you, on 80 lakhs, 1% you have to deduct TDSN. Shall I close this? Half an hour I took. This is a 10 marks question and I made you write the concepts also. So I hope very clear. Now, let us go to these 1-1 one, one mark, uh, 2-2 two, two marks, but alag -alag MCQs, they are clear. Mr. Malik is it uh, this and he's computing. Whenever they give salary income computed, means standard deduction they have given. Loss from house property, brought forward loss from house property, business losses 1 lakh, and bank FD interest is 80,000. Compute the total income of Malik and amount of loss. Now, see, set off and carry forward of losses they are asking in MCQ for 2 mark. Or, piche ek 4 mark ka question bhi hai. To kitna weightage hua? 6 marks. Hai na? Chalo. Mm. Yeah, how will you compute the income? Salary income we will take in outer column. I'm just solving it here only. House property, there is a loss. <coughs> and this loss. Both will be carry forward. Business loss. Can we set off in salary? Answer is no. One and three are not friends. What is one? Salary. What is three? Business. So one and three are not friends so you cannot set off one lakh salary may business loss set off nahi hota inter head set off rules as per section 71 now can we set off business loss here 
इन द एफ डी एफ डी के साथ सेट ऑफ होगा हाँ तभी भी आपका बाहर इनकम निलाएगा वॉट विल बी योर टैक्सीबल इनकम फोर लैक एंड बिजनेस लॉस कैरी फॉरवर्ड विल बी ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वॉट इज द आंसर सैलरी इनकम या सॉरी आई मिस रियली सैलरी इनकम में आपका ये तो कैरी फॉरवर्ड होगा हाउस प्रॉपर्टी लॉस ब्रॉड फॉरवर्ड कैन यू सेट ऑफ हाउस प्रॉपर्टी इन द सैलरी येस बट मैम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी लॉस इज टू ट्वेंटी दिस इज लाइक आई हैव नेवर सीन एनी एग्जाम विदाउट दिस एडजस्टमेंट हाउस प्रॉपर्टी लॉस म्यूचुअली एच वन एच टू यू कैन सेट ऑफ एज मच एज यू वॉन्ट बट हाउस प्रॉपर्टी लॉस to be set off with other heads is limited only to 2 lakhs aur ye aapka main answer aa jayega 2 lakhs aur this will be carried forward 20000 only till 2 lakhs house property loss can be set off with other heads and remaining will be like carried forward okay so total income is 2 lakhs loss of house property 250 will be carried forward this 20 and this 230 and business loss 20000 this is the correct answer take your time ask your doubts is the pitfall clear to all of you or not chale aage easy yeah in salary you can set off house property loss set off i am literally saying again and again 7th of october yesterday just see a live class for half an hour you will learn like never before the set off rules hmm to ye ho gaya aapka mcq chalo next question ramesh mahesh and suresh jointly own the property which is let out you know when there are co owners compute the total income and then one third one third will be taxable in each hands annual rent dr rajesh is paying is 540000 credited equally to each account okay annual rent is 540000 ka one third to kitna aa raha hai 180000 to each mr rajesh approach his test consultant and he informed that he has occupied such flat for personal accommodation and his receipt from profession is 58 lakhs okay right so his receipt from profession um the professional receipts if they exceeds 1 crore you have to get books of accounts audited and all that now no tds is required to be deducted since rental payments were for flat for personal और TDS is required to be deducted since the rent exceed 240 but ये तो गलत ही है क्योंकि rent 240 से exceed हुआ तो 194 I में TDS कटता है correct है but uh, that is for each and for each तो it is 180 only and Rajesh is individual having gross receipts exceeding 50 lakhs ठीक है no tax is required since the rent credited to each co owner is less than 2 lakh 40000 this is the correct answer correct hai. if your books of accounts are audited if your turnover if you are a professional your turnover exceeds 50 lakhs otherwise for business your turnover exceeds 1 lakh then if your books of accounts are audited tds provisions are applicable but if your annual rent exceeds 2 lakh 40000 what you pay to each pay you are a payer par yahan to ek ek ko 180 de rahe na to koi tds nahi katega no tax is required to be deducted at source since rajesh gross receipt during the financial year does not exceed 1 crore okay that's not the right answer because 2 lakh 40000 se exceed ho raha hai acha one more thing dear uh, students here Hmm. One minute. Is he using it for office purpose? No, it's a personal accommodation. So some students may think that one ninety four B B लग सकता है ना आपको आगे है ना one ninety four I B sorry not B I B वो rent above fifty thousand. तो वो भी कब लगेगा आपको when it is fifty thousand per month per pay. So anyhow the answer is each owner is getting yes. Then. चलो आई होप वी आर रिवाइजिंग लॉट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट्स हियर 
Ashish is an Indian citizen and a member of crew of America bond ship engaged in the freight. Uh, from following details, what would be the residential status of Ashish? Assuming that his stay in India in the last four years exceeded 365 days. But because he's a member of a crew or he goes out for employment, second basic condition is not applicable. 60 days plus 360. So he has to stay in India for more than 180 days. Are you getting? A person who is going out of India for employment huh? or a person who is going out as a member of crew. Uh, then whatever is the continuous discharge certificate mein, he should be in India for more than 180 days. So the day he entered in the continuous discharge certificate is 25th April. And the day he is signing off. And the day you come in is also counted. So April, how many days we will take? 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Six days of April. May, June, oh sorry, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Count karo kitne days ho rahe calculator mein. Faster than me, you can put the answer in chat box. 6 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 31 plus 30 plus 24. 183 days he is in India. Is he satisfying the first basic condition? Yes. Second is not applicable. Now, if he satisfies this condition, let us check the additional condition. Okay. What would be he, assuming his stay in India for the last four years is 365 days. Oh, last four years he was in India, pure 365 days. So what are the additional conditions? He has satisfied the first basic condition. Now, what are the additional conditions? Last 10 years, 10 PPYs, 10 preceding previous years may say, two preceding previous year may, he should stay, uh, I mean, say he should be resident in India for two years. Yes, 365 days, 4 years. So, 2 years resident to hoga hai na. And last seven preceding previous year, he should be in India for more than 730 days. 365 into 4. 1460 days he was in India. So answer is Ashish is resident and ordinary resident. Now see you feel ma'am residential status ka importance kitna hai. 4 mark ka ek question piche hai. Par ye bhi to hai na 2 marks ke liye. TDS is already there for 8 marks plus this 2. So out of 50, 10 marks for TDS. Hmm? This is the mindset I am building ki jo students think that I am only going to study this. Son, this is a professional exam. You will have to study. TDS 8 marks question you are attempting and 2 this to 10 marks to TDS you have crossed. And this question number 1 case study is a whole capital gain ka problem. Tha. Like this, can they ask you case study for salary also? For uh, business head also. Clear? Any doubt? See now, even if you are writing CMA exam, ye sab revise ho gaya, ye fill in the blanks mein aata hai. Continuous discharge certificate is a document or second basic condition is not applicable. That's why I feel all the students should attend this. Okay. And I'm making it very crisp, very quick because Sunday morning is most valuable for all of us. Right or not? Mrs. Asha, aged 60 years and a non-resident has total income. 3 crore 20 lakhs. Oh, if the income exceeds 50 lakhs, surcharge lagta hai, indicator in money. Comprising of long-term capital gain, 57 lakhs. Long-term capital gain, 57 lakhs, pay 20% tax. Hota hai. Okay, kitna hoga? Hum saath saath mein karte bhi ja rahe hai pe. 11 lakhs and this. Now long-term capital gain, 112. 112 is shares vara, 65 lakhs. So, you know, 1 lakh you get extra exemption for long-term capital gain on listed shares. This is covered in the first lecture of Sarthi. More than 500 students have taken the benefit of that. You to take it, special income, special rate, normal income. So, out of 65 lakhs, 
वन लैक वुड बी एक्सेम्ड एंड ऑन सिक्सटी फोर लैक्स लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन ऑन शेयर टैक्सेस सिक्स पॉइंट फोर चलो एंड अदर नॉर्मल इनकम कितनी है वन नाइंटी एट लैक्स वन नाइंटी एट लैक्स वॉट वुड बी द टैक्स लाइबिलिटी ठीक है क्लियर है आप सबके लिए वन नाइंटी एट लैक्स तो आपकी टैक्स लाइबिलिटी कितनी होगी नॉर्मल इनकम तो नॉर्मल इनकम में फर्स्ट टेन लैक्स इट इज लाइक वन लैख ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड मैम ये क्या कर रहे हैं जीरो टू टू फिफ्टीन इन टू फिफ्टी टू फाइव लैख फाइव परसेंट ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव लैख टू टेन लैख ट्वेंटी परसेंट वन लैख सो दस लाख तक तो इतना टैक्स है और वन एटी एट लैक्स पे सीधा थर्टी परसेंट टैक्स लगेगा वन एटी एट इंटू वन एटी एट इंटू Thirty percent. That is fifty six point four lakh. This is your total tax. Now the pitfall for all of you, dear students, जो बहुत बहुत मतलब बहुत ही पूछते हैं exam में ये सुनो ध्यान से. If the income exceeds two crore to five crore, actually the surcharge rate is twenty five percent. But higher surcharge rate twenty five percent and thirty seven percent. are not applicable for long term capital gain is this year's amendment amendment lectures please watch repeatedly separately because in the mcqs in the question abhi humne iske pehle bhi ek amendment kiya aur abhi fir se main aapko bata rahi even if my long term capital gain is 8 crores highest rate of surcharge will be 15% only 50 lakhs to 1 crore uh, 10% One crore onwards, all fifteen percent. All clear to all of you. So, what is the surcharge rate? Hmm. Yeah. What is the surcharge rate, dear students? Surcharge rate here actually applicable is twenty five percent because two to five crores. If income is, अच्छा एक बात याद है total income पे tax calculate होता है. Ma'am ये आपका favorite dialogue है. हाँ बिल्कुल. Tax के ऊपर surcharge calculate होता है and tax plus surcharge के ऊपर four percent says. ये ऐसा दिमाग में fit होना है. So now what is your total tax? Yes, eleven lakh forty thousand. Plus six forty plus one lakh twelve thousand five hundred plus fifty six lakh forty thousand seventy five lakh thirty two five hundred on this surcharge I'll pay fifteen percent. So I'm directly doing hundred and fifteen percent eighty six sixty two three seventy five. Or is ka one not four percent education says one not four percent. So what is the correct answer? Nine zero zero eight eight seventy. Ma'am, two mark ke liye to five mark jitna question hai hai sahi nahi hai. So definitely you will take more time for solving the MCQs in the exam also. And you know I feel isko kitta calculator mein karoge. So please take the trick this now for your exam. Keep you are not allowed to write anything in question paper. Huh? अदरवाइज इट अमाउंट्स टू चीटिंग बेटा तो आप आंसर शीट में रफ वर्क फॉर एमसीक्यूज करके एक पेपर रखो और उस पर ये जल्दी हो जाएगा कैलकुलेटर में करने से अच्छा एंड इफ यू आर वेरी स्मार्ट टू यूज एम प्लस एम माइनस इसको कैलकुलेट करके एम प्लस एम प्लस एम प्लस देन गो हेड ओके राइट सो दैट्स ऑल एमसीक्यूज आर ओवर एज आई सेड नो ब्रेक Now directly we are going to question number one. Question number one mindset prepared. Rakho either it is salary and deductions, or it will be business head and other source and deductions. And deductions hot favorite is ATG, charitable trust. Wala wo ten percent of adjusted total income se zada nahi le sakte. Or ya fir they will ask you to calculate the tax on total income along with agricultural income. So from tomorrow. coming 2 3 days i am going to take deductions in detail this is not a fast track batch my concepts bahut slow padhungi deductions mein aur fir hum problem solve karenge 
then it is tds tds lectures highly recommended for inter final all the students as every exam the weightage of tds is 4 into 2 8 bits or 2 marks aapne abhi dekha and with this then we will do the total income problems so this is a schedule for coming 10 days if you attend live the benefit is you can interact with us and you can clear your doubts also chale sath mein aage hmm chale yeah let us do this question now okay rohit is working in the abc limited so 14 marks total problem in kanpur and at the age of 60 so 60 october mein agar 60 ho jayega to is a senior citizen iske liye basic exemption 3 lakh anywhere if you achieve the age here you take that now what is the basic salary da x gratia sub students ne exemption liya tha kyun beta what is x gratia it's a high fi name for bonus or when you retire instead of bonus they give you lump sum whatever it is but x gratia is very very well taxable theek hai subsequent to this rohit started uh, ha one minute very important is that rohit is retired on october 22 now pitfall dear students itna bura lagta hai agar pura problem correct hai but by mistake you are taking basic salary 30000 into 12 whereas you have to take only till october april may june july august september october over 2 lakh 10000 is your basic and what is da 20000 40% you have to take for the retirement benefits for definition of salary for hra and leave salary and all you have to take 40% but what da you will take whatever you receive is going to be taxable how many of you have written the mtp and you have solved this as multiplied by 12 me likho mujhe nahi daatna hai aapko aap khud ko pinch ho jayega और अब अगले एग्जाम में ये गलती नहीं करोगे बी अलर्ट इफ इट इज अलरी क्वेश्चन एंड इफ इज रिटायरिंग इन बिटवीन डोंट ब्लंटली टेक द सैलरी फॉर ट्वेल्व मार्क्स योर होल फोर्टीन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन विल गो रॉन्ग बेटा ठीक है सो इज द बेसिक क्लियर टू यू डी ए क्लियर टू यू एक्स ग्रेशिया सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड टैक्सीबल है नाउ Company has taken a lease rent house on Kanpur. You know, even this is like rent-free accommodation. Even if they give rent-free accommodation first, I would suggest you take it last because what's the definition of salary for RFA? RFA के लिए क्या है आपका definition of salary? Basic DA जो भी retirement terms के लिए forty percent fees, bonus, commission. and all the taxable allowances so there might be some allowances ahead which are taxable whatever allowance you receive less exempt under section 1040 so taxable allowance you will take theek hai right chalo is my speed fine you all are able to do it please do it in writing ma'am lekin aap to notebook maine open kiya tha wahan pe main nahi solve kar rahi hu क्यों बिकॉज यहाँ पे आप क्वेश्चन के साथ लिंक कर रहे हो सो दिस राइट साइड इज माई नोटबुक फॉर टूडे यू ऑल डू इट आई एम येट टू लर्न दैट टेक्नोलॉजी आई हैव सीन एंड इवन स्टूडेंट सजेस्टेड मी कि मैम क्वेश्चन पेपर और आपका नोटबुक आप साइमल्टेनियस ओपन कर सकते हैं मुझे उसके लिए कोई टेक्निकल हेल्प नहीं मिल रही है अगर आपके पास है तो आप दीप्ती मैम को जरूर हेल्प करो तो आर एफ ए को थोड़ा पेंडिंग रखते हैं अभी ठीक है कम Company has provided to Rohit a cooking range microwave. Original cost is forty thousand. WDV is uh, this. WDV is given always to confuse. If whatever asset is given by employer to employ for use, forty thousand into ten percent per annum के हिसाब से. Employer ने आपको use करने के लिए दिया है. हम्म 
Hmm. So it's going to be taxable. One second, my dear student. Hmm. So four thousand, we will take it as taxable. Now, next is. Rohit has two sons. His second son was studying in a soon school maintained by employer, and educational facilities provided up to eighteen hundred per month. Now here two options are there. Up to thousand, it is exempt. So above that, this is eighteen hundred into twelve. So you can take the whole taxable and they have given the answer given second optional answer is you can take only eight hundred as taxable. Okay. So we will take full twenty one six hundred as taxable. Okay, right. Next now, employer company was contributing seven thousand. Very in depth this problem is a. Huh? थोड़ा अच्छे से आराम से करो मैंने ही पहले ही बड़ा प्रॉब्लम लिया है इसमें आपका एटी सी सी डी वन और सब कवर होगा एम्प्लॉयर आई थिंक इसको मुझे वही लग रहा है मैं जब प्रॉब्लम को देख रही हूँ तो मुझे लग रहा है आई हैव टू डू लॉर्ड ऑफ वर्किंग फॉर एटी सी सी डी वन एंड टू सो ठीक है लेटेस्ट ये और वी कैन टेक इट इन द नोटबुक ऑल्सो एक बार यहाँ भी एक्सप्लेन करेंगे नोटबुक में भी फिर से लिख लेंगे दस मिनट एक्स्ट्रा लगेगा ठीक है Employer contributing seven thousand per month to pension fund, an equal amount. So eighty CCD one. Okay, employer can contribute how much to the salary? Ten percent. Beyond that, it will be taxable. Okay, right. Exemption to milega. Abhi to pura taxable kar do. Employers contribution. Seven thousand for seven months. See again, I did a mistake. I took this for twelve months, whereas this should have been seven months. Because after that, you are leaving the organization. Right? Yeah. Seven thousand change. 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 ठीक है प्रोफेशन टैक्स इज ऑल्सो पेड बाय एम्प्लॉयर तो एड भी होगा और फिर सैलरी में से डिडक्ट भी होगा दिस वन वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेनी स्टूडेंट डिड नॉट राइट द नोट प्रॉपरली दैट रोहित आफ्टर लीविंग दिस बिजनेस इन अक्टूबर ही स्टार्टेड बिजनेस एंड बिजनेस में ही गॉट लॉस एंड डेप्रीसिएशन ऑल्सो एक्सक्लूडिंग डेप्रीसिएशन सो दीज लॉसेस कैन यू सेट ऑफ इन सैलरी नो so these will just be carried forward and you have to write a note please remember losses of um, business cannot be set off in salary so you just have to write a note and leave it hmm? yeah you need to carry it forward theek hai chaliye aage now rohit has won a prize i think better deductions ke liye khas kar ke i'll go to the notebook kyunki mujhe atccd 1 to all i will explain Rohit won a prize. He received two ten after TDS. But what will be taxable? Gross amount that is three lakh income from other sources. Or problem आगे हम बाद में continue करेंगे. So we know that there are no other allowances. So can we first come back and do the RFA part? Yes. Company has taken the lease rent Kanpur, paying a lease rent of nine thousand. 
सो फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ सैलरी ऑन लीज रेंट एंड रोहित से भी वो लोग पैसे ले रहे हैं तो मैं आर एफ ए का कैलकुलेशन आपको बता रही हूँ वॉट विल बी द सैलरी फॉर आर एफ ए टू लैख टेन थाउजेंड एंड वन फोर्टी का फोर्टी परसेंट अगेन आई एम सींग वट एवर डी ए यू आर रिसीविंग इज टैक्सेबल बट फॉर डेफिनेशन ऑफ सैलरी यू हैव टू टेक ओनली दिस सो टू टेन टू लैख टेन थाउजेंड प्लस फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड यस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सैलरी इसका फिफ्टीन परसेंट कितना आ रहा है थर्टी नाइन नाइन हंड्रेड और लीज रेंट पेड नाइन थाउजेंड इंटू सेवन सेवन नाइन थाउजेंड इंटू सेवन सिक्सटी थ्री थाउजेंड आर यू ऑल विथ मी हाँ फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द सैलरी और लीज रेंट पेड ओके विच एवर इज लोअर यू हैव टू टेक सॉरी हाँ वन मिनट बोनस भी एड करेंगे ना एक्सक्रेशिया भी टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री थर्टी वन आई नो दिस बिग क्वेश्चन सो आई ऑल्सो मिस आउट वन बेड कोई बात नहीं सुधार लेते हैं चलो फोर्टी नाइन सिक्स फिफ्टी डन सो फोर्टी नाइन सिक्स फिफ्टी इज फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ दिस विच एवर इज लोअर इज टैक्सीबल सो दिस एंड ऑलरेडी यू आर टेकिंग सिक्स थाउजेंड इन टू सेवन रेंट फ्रॉम द एम्प्लॉय तो वो कम कर दो समझ में आ रहा है आपको सिक्स थाउजेंड तो हम एम्प्लॉय से ले रहे द रेंट फ्री अकोमोडेशन वैल्यू इज फोर्टी नाइन सिक्स फिफ्टी बट आई एम नॉट गिविंग इट कंप्लीटली फ्री आई एम चार्जिंग सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड सो वॉट विल बी द टैक्सीबल पर्पोजिट फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड माइनस कर दो इसमें से सेवन सिक्स फाइव जीरो आर यू ओके लाइक दिस See, I also do trial error. Sometimes earlier I have done it in notebook, but now I'm doing it here because I feel the question is more clear. Chalo, let us calculate gross salary, and then if you wish, we can shift shift in the notebook because uh, pension के लिए बहुत अच्छे अच्छे logic sense हैं. Twelve thousand six hundred plus forty nine six fifty Profession tax if employee pays, take a deduction. If employer is paying and then employee is taking, okay, huh? Then add and take a deduction. Is this clear to all of you? Hmm. Here also we will take only for seven months because he is leaving. Silly mistake. Two three three three. That. So how much you are getting the answer? Because we have given it for use to employee. W D V is given to confuse you on the original cost ten percent. And seven by twelve because seven months ke baad so seven months seven months seven months is where as a teacher even I am doing it wrong. Hope you take the benefit of my mistake. Now do the total two ten plus one forty D A. Ex gratia will be a part of the salary taxable salary. See if you don't take ex gratia, आपका पूरे calculations गलत हो जाएंगे. आधे भी marks नहीं मिलेंगे. Forty nine thousand. And two thousand four hundred. Yes, we got it correct. And from here, I want to take it in the notebook. एक बार आप gross salary लिख के रख लो यहाँ. Four eighty eight one second. Four eighty eight nine eighty three. Standard deduction and all. I'm doing it in notebook. Business income will not be taxable. Other source it will come. 
Huh. LIC with the private insurance, 30,000 for son. Can you give LIC for married daughter also? Yes. Yes. Okay. I am paying PPF for my son and taking deduction. My LIC is paid by my father and he's taking deduction right now also. So is this a tax planning? Yes. You can pay LIC for self, spouse and children. So ye dono ATC mein cover hoga, mein likh ke bataungi. Pension ka point yaad rakho. How much employer han, has contributed in the pension? Central government pension scheme 7,000. To pura taxable ho jayega. Or deduction kitna melega? 10% of basic and DA. Commission to hai nahi. Mediclaim 22,000 for self. Allowed. 26,000 for mother. And mother is not dependent. Still allowed. For parents, because they are senior citizens, the limit is 50,000, dependent or not. So it is allowed. And uh, he's computing income under various sets, calculate tax, assuming it does not opt. So tax liability or yahan se notebook. I know I'm going, I think, a little slow than what you all students expected. But it's a 14 marks, wonderful problem. Iske baad ke chote chote jo 4 marks ke problem hai, Ya kuch theory hai, we can cover it there itself. Okay, no problem. Chalo, notebook mein chalte hai. Can I skip writing salary? This is question number one. And uh, computation of income of Mr. Rohit. I'm skipping the salary part. We are doing everything for 22 and 23. So I'm just starting from gross salary. Gross salary, we have already calculated in the calculator. 488,983. Less standard deduction under section 161A, that is 50,000. And under section 16.3 for, for profession tax, that is 2,400. Ma'am, one more deduction is allowed. What is that? Entertainment allowance. And to whom it is allowed? Only to government employees. Or ye government employee nahi hai. To private employee. Done. Chalo. 488 minus 52. 400. So your taxable salary. Taxable salary is coming to 436,583. This is gross salary. Now business income. Then he started a business. And he incurred a loss, current year's loss and depreciation loss. Dono carry forward hoga because you cannot set off. Ek bar likh do amount kitna hai. Business loss is 90,000 and depreciation loss is 60,000. Okay. Done. One lakh fifty thousand. Loss carry forward. Here you want. Agar piche note nahi likhna hai. cannot set off in salary. Ma'am, lekin other source mein to set off hota hai. Other source mein bhi casual income hai. Casual income mein koi losses nahi. Koi basic exemption nahi hai na. After the business income, you just have income from other sources. Casual income winning from TV shows. Net. 2,10,000. TDS kata hai 90,000. Gross hai 3 lakh. Gross total income. 736,583. Are you all with me? Now the crucial part for which I shifted in notebook. Deduction under ATC. LIC. LIC is paid for self, I mean, say son, uh, 30,000 and married daughter, 20,000, 50,000. Upper limit is 1,50,000 for LIC. Under section 80D, Mediclaim. Mediclaim, khud ke le 22,000 paid by check hai. 
तो बिल्कुल अलाउड रहेगा कैश है तो नहीं होगा एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड इज फॉर मदर सो फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड ओके नाउ एक्चुअली आई शुड हैव डन इट फर्स्ट बट आई एम डूइंग इट नाउ अब जो पेंशन में कंट्रीब्यूशन है उसके लिए ओके राइट अंडर सेक्शन एटी सी सी डी एटी सी सी डी वन एम्प्लॉज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू पेंशन एम्प्लॉय ने फोर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड डाला है तो एम्प्लॉय ने भी फोर्टी थाउजेंड डाला है बट एम्प्लॉय को यहाँ कितना डिडक्शन मिलेगा बेटा ये देखो यहाँ पे एक लिमिट है टेन परसेंट ऑफ बेसिक एंड डी ए और वो भी ओ सॉरी आई एम गोइंग अप टू चेक आई एम नॉट रिटर्न वॉट बेसिक यू विल टेक थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड डी ए इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड का फोर्टी परसेंट ओनली एट थाउजेंड इन टू सेवन मंथ आई होप यू ऑल आर गेटिंग थर्टी थाउजेंड पर मंथ प्लस एट थाउजेंड थर्टी एट थाउजेंड इन टू सेवन इसका टेन परसेंट हाउ मच यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड ओनली यू विल टेक द डिडक्शन वेर एटी सी सी डी वन वेर एज यू हैव पेड फोर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड हु एम्प्लॉ वाई देन ओनली दिस बिकॉज मैक्सिमम डिडक्शन यू कैन अवेल इज टेन परसेंट ऑफ द सैलरी एंड वॉट्स डेफिनेशन ऑफ सैलरी बेसिक डी ए सो बेसिक डी ए टैक्सेबल डी है वो भी पूरा डी ए नहीं ठीक है अदर देन दिस अंडर सेक्शन एटी सी सी डी वन बी एम्प्लॉज कैन टेक अ डिडक्शन अप टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओवर एंड अब एटी सी सी डी वन ये सब मिला के भी अपर लिमिट है वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का विच इज नॉट क्रॉसिंग सो डोंट वरी आई एम रिपीटिंग एम्प्लॉ ने भी फोर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड पेंशन स्कीम में डाले दे कॉल इट अटल पेंशन योजना ऑल्सो इन एग्जाम हाउ मच ही कैन टेक अ डिडक्शन इन एटी सी सी डी वन एटी सी सी डी वन ही कैन टेक डिडक्शन एम्प्लॉ ओनली टेन परसेंट बट अदर देन दिस एडिशनल अप टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ही कैन टेक इन एटी सी सी डी वन बी बट ऑलरेडी फोर्टी नाइन में ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड तो ऊपर डिडक्ट किया तो बाकी यहाँ ले लो फोर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड में से ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड ऊपर डिडक्ट किया तो ट्वेंटी टू फोर हंड्रेड यहाँ डिडक्ट कर लो ठीक है अब आगे अंडर सेक्शन एटी सी सी डी टू एम्प्लॉयर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मैम एम्प्लॉयर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन कंप्लीटली यू हैव एडेड इन सैलरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इन डेफ कॉन्सेप्ट एमसीक्यूज में और कितने जगह आता है तो इसको कॉन्सेप्ट की तरफ पढ़ लो एम्प्लॉयर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इट इज टैक्सेबल फोर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड हमने ग्रॉस सैलरी में चेक करना आप ऊपर हमने किया है नाउ फॉर दैट एम्प्लॉयर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हाउ मच यू कैन टेक अ डिडक्शन सेम टेन परसेंट ऑफ थर्टी थाउजेंड प्लस एट थाउजेंड इंटू सेवन उसका टेन परसेंट तो कितना आएगा ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड एम्प्लॉयर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज फुल्ली टैक्सेबल एंड देन यू टेक अ डिडक्शन टेन परसेंट ऑफ बेसिक एंड टैक्सेबल डी एम्प्लॉज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन खुद का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सैलरी में क्यों टैक्स होगा या विथ योर ओन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन विल यू गेट अ डिडक्शन इन एटी सी सी डी वन यस एंड एक्स्ट्रा अप टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इन एटी सी सी डी बी वन बी and this you all know it so this was like quite in depth and i felt this was the point where most students could not do it correct to get 14 marks so check up for this medi claim is clear ho gaye sub deductions now what you get you call it as your total income theek hai right total income chalo Yeah, we have to calculate tax also. Seven thirty six five eighty three minus three 
प्लीज डू इट इन विथ कैलकुलेटर ऑन योर ओन बिकॉज एग्जाम में तो आपको कैलकुलेटर चलाना ही है ना खुद से टोटल कितना आ रहा है देखो सेवन थर्टी सिक्स फाइव एटी थ्री माइनस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड माइनस फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी टू फोर हंड्रेड ऑल राइट so the total income is coming to 562 983 as per section 288a income is to be rounded off in the multiples of 10 85 and above ko 90 karenge abhi 80 rakhenge rounded off tax is to be rounded off in under section 88 to 88b ये ठीक है चलो अब इस पर टैक्स कैलकुलेट करो ही इज अ सीनियर सिटीजन ओके ही इज अ सीनियर सिटीजन ये याद रखना कि बेसिक एग्जामेशन कितना होगा बेटा उसके लिए थ्री लैख अब स्पेशल इनकम पे स्पेशल टैक्स स्पेशल इनकम क्या है लॉटरी लाइक लॉटरी इनकम इज गोइंग टू बी टैक्सेबल नो बेसिक एग्जामेशन नथिंग थ्री लैख थ्री लैख पे थर्टी परसेंट कितना टैक्स आ रहा है नाइंटी थाउजेंड ओके राइट एंड टैक्स ऑन नॉर्मल इनकम आपका नॉर्मल इनकम कितना है फाइव सिक्सटी टू नाइन एटी माइनस थ्री लैख दैट इज टू सिक्सटी टू नाइन एटी नील स्पेशल इनकम थ्री लैख वी हैव टेकन थर्टी परसेंट बट नॉर्मल इनकम टू सिक्सटी टू नाइन एटी इट इज नील बिकॉज बेसिक एग्जामेशन ही थ्री लैख है मैम रीबेट बिल्कुल नहीं मिलेगा इनकम एज एक्सीडेड फाइव लैख सो वॉट इज द टैक्स नाउ नाइंटी थाउजेंड ऑन दैट सेस विल बी फोर परसेंट फोर नाइन जी सिक्स थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सो द टैक्स is total tax after the cess is coming to 93600 and minus the tds already tds deduct hua hai na beta 90000 so your tax payable is coming to 3600 i know i took almost like aadha ghanta ho gaya ha ek bar check karo and just two to three minutes break if you want we can take and very quickly we will solve the set of problem four marks problem i'll solve there itself isko notebook mein kiya just to explain all this hmm? okay and one pitfall i really want to say is some students they've calculated income correctly fir income mein se tax minus karte hain income computation is separate and tax is separate look at this where did i do like that हमने तो कहीं नहीं किया ऐसा देखो टैक्स का कैलकुलेशन ही हमने अलग किया ना सेपरेटली वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द टैक्स कैलकुलेशन नथिंग टू डू ग्रॉस टोटल इनकम वी डिड टोटल इनकम एंड प्लीज पुट अ डबल लाइन एंड लीव द गैप डोंट डिडक्ट टैक्स फ्रॉम इनकम ओके जस्ट टू टू थ्री मिनट्स आई बी बैक यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक अ ब्रेक एंड देन वील कंटेन
All right. Are you all also back? I know. <laughs> Once again, you want to revise? This is a nice problem and I hope I'm teaching you the concept solving ke saath. You know, in three hours, make sure that you solve it in the second app, this problem. Otherwise, you will take so much time. Huh? So I think first you should do those best MCQs. What you know best, then you can do 4-4 mark question, which I'm going to do now. But it's easy. Then say one time. Till gross salary, it was clear. I also did mistake twice that I think should be more alert. You know, teacher ki mistake hote to kabhi bachche class mein hasthe hai. I said, hustle, but go jao ki aap ye mistake mat karna ki maine kahin kahin 12 months liya by mistake. 40,000 and all. You had to take it 7 by 12. Now, once you get gross salary, no one would say take standard deduction. You have to take PT if paid by employee, deduct. If paid by employer, add and then deduct. Okay? Business loss, you cannot set off. I have literally corrected answer sheets where they have taken this in outer column and set off. Aise nahi hota. Huh? Winning from lotteries, gross is taxable, I think, clear for all of you. LIC, you can pay for self, spouse and children. Mediclaim, you can pay for parents, whether dependent or not. Now, employees' own contribution in pension scheme is allowed maximum up to 10%. Extra is allowed here. Achha, there's an alternative way. You can take everything here. Are you getting because ATCCD, uh, this 1B, I have deducted 20 to 400. If someone in answer sheet has taken directly 49,000 here, he will get correct marks. ATCCD 1B, the limit is 50,000. So, pura 49 deduct karte hai, ko nahi hona ATCCD 1 ka deduction. Theek hai? And 2 is for employer. First me and then my employer. Employer, whatever he's contributing to pension scheme is taxable in gross salary, 49,000. Deduction is allowed up to 10% of basic and taxable retirement benefit wala DA only. Hmm? And on 562, special income, special tax, normal income, no tax. See, if students are missing out that he's a senior citizen because his birthday, 68th birthday is coming in October 22. Kitna confused kya hai? Clear nahi diya ki senior citizen abhi hoga ki agle saal abhi ho jayega. October 22 mein birthday 68th khatam. You are a senior citizen. If you don't take senior citizen then you will calculate tax up to 215 in remaining 5% and the answer will change. So I hope I've made you aware of all the pitfalls where you can be more alert. Chalo, now some very easy small questions we are doing. Okay? Residential status. <clears throat> Residential status ka question solve kare. I know I thought to do it at very fast, but mere se nahi ho raha utna fast. Bhoot achche achche problems isko itna baga baga ke kaise kare. Chalo. Following is the income of Suresh. And all other details are given and you have to calculate with two column. Resident and ordinary resident and resident but not ordinary resident. Huh? So resident and ordinary resident and resident but not ordinary. First thing is why you are solving this one after another. Kitni bar particulars likhoge. So definitely you can solve this in column form. Okay, and for residential status, one pitfall where 90% students are going wrong is untaxed profit brought from abroad to India. I always give for this Amrish Puri ka example. DDLJ is a movie where Amrish Puri, DDLJ, if you have not seen Dilwale Dulinya Le Jayenge, it's a Shah Rukh Khan and Kajo is one of the best movies. So Amrish Puri was staying in London. He has earned in last 20 years in London. But finally, he decided to shift to India, Punjab. And he sold off everything over there. And he brought that capital in India. On this capital, does he have to pay tax in India? Answer is no. This is his income in London in last 20 years. And he has paid the tax over there. Ho gaya, sab khadam. So untaxed profit brought from outside India to India is not an income here. 
एंड इट्स नॉट टैक्सीबल फॉर एनी वन ये एक पॉइंट है जहां काफी स्टूडेंट्स ने गलती की है एंड फॉर रेसिडेंट एंड ऑर्डनरी रेसिडेंट यूर राइट वर्ल्ड इनकम इज टैक्सेबल बट नॉट अनटैक्स प्रॉफिट जो आ रहा है बस लिस्ट में लिखते चले जाओ ऐसे नहीं होता रेसिडेंट बट नॉट ऑर्डनरी रेसिडेंट हिल पे टैक्स ऑन इनकम रिसीव इन इंडिया डीम टू बी रिसीव एक्रूड इन इंडिया डीम टू अक्रू एंड बिजनेस Income received outside India, accrued outside India, but if business is controlled from India, resident but not ordinary resident will also be. I hope I have given you. मैं जैसे ये बोल रही हूँ ना तो आपको list दिखना चाहिए. Triple column क्या क्या taxable है. So many problems. Wherever you have taken the coaching, you must have solved for this. शुरू करें. Right. Income from business in India two lakh. Controlled London and remitted and all for business to India में दोनों के लिए taxable है two lakh profits from uh, business earned in Japan seventy thousand out of which twenty thousand was received in India but this is also business controlled in India तो दोनों के लिए fully taxable है here most of the students while correcting the papers I could check is यहाँ पे seventy लिखा यहाँ पे सिर्फ twenty लिखा because only 20 is received in india forget it but if the business is controlled in india then even if remaining 50 is received outside india and the income is accrued in japan received in japan still if it is controlled in india full income pay tax over untaxed profit of business in england which is brought to india purana koi untaxed profit india mein tax nahi pay kiya na isliye untaxed it's not taxable Royalty of four lakh received from Mr. Ramesh, a resident, for taxable service provided to run a business outside India. Only he will pay the tax. Clear to all of you. I am reading one one bit for all of you. ठीक है? Now agricultural income ninety thousand in Bhutan, but received in India. So agricultural income outside is taxable for this person. Not for this. Why? Because this agricultural income is uh, accrued in Bhutan, received in Bhutan. Then why for him it will be taxable? Not taxable, because he is a resident but not ordinary resident. Rent of seventy three thousand. All the problems have taken students have taken it correctly, but the pitfall jahan galti hui hai standard deduction nahi gaya. See when they don't say salary computed or rent computed, rent is seventy three thousand. So thirty percent standard deduction to milega na GAV NAV wala. So what's taxable fifty one one hundred. Ab rent ka hai, property ka hai Dubai me. Mila ka Dubai me. Isko to koi lena dena nahi hai. Isko milega fifty one one hundred. Ma'am, you did a ten marks question for forty five minutes. And this in four point five minutes. This is how we do. I am being very honest when I am sitting at this place. If you feel that student को मजे कराने हैं, तो हम बहुत अलग वे में पढ़ा सकते हैं. But I hope मैं आपको ऐसे पढ़ा रही हूँ कि आप एग्जाम में मार्क्स स्कोर करो बेटा. हाँ? तो ये प्रॉब्लम आपको क्लियर है या नहीं? अब भी भी कोई बिट में कोई भी डाउट है तो पूछो. This is two seventy. And here, यहाँ पे students have literally written seventy three thousand. And tell me why I should give you marks if you write seventy thousand? Eight lakh eleven thousand one hundred. Done. चलो. हो गया. TDS. TDS का question four marks four bits. Try to write the section and the limit. important sections i'll make you learn we are doing tds in the next week this week we are doing deductions and total income might be on next sunday live class whatever i take i to put the topics one day beforehand only in the telegram and all the notes and pdfs are given in telegram so for live classes if you wish to get the booster notes the pdf question and answers All are there in Telegram, and you will get an update when I'm taking TDS lecture one day before. Or TDS, मुझे ना भाग भाग के नहीं पढ़ाना है. मैं TDS आपको समझाऊंगी और 194 O R S जो नए वाले हैं, I'll make you learn that. So because you know, I feel ये eight marks का question है. 
तो इसमें सेक्शन लिमिट कुछ तो लिखना है ना आपको है ना राइट right, चलो जल्दी से करते अभी तो हम क्विकली वी विल सॉल्व दिस राइट नाउ डिड आई मिस आउट ऑन एनी थिंग नो ना लाइन से ही चल रहे हैं ना या कुनाल रिसीव द सम ऑफ टेन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ऑन प्री मैच और विद्रॉल वन नाइनटी टू ए है ना राइट बिफोर द कंटिन्यूस सर्विस ऑफ फाइव इयर्स ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ टर्मिनेशन सो इफ यू रिटायर बिफोर टर्मिनेशन ऑफ फाइव इयर्स देन वॉट एवर अमाउंट यू रिसीव इट्स टैक्सेबल तो टी डी एस डिडक्ट होता है वन नाइनटी टू ए राइट ओके वन नाइनटी टू ए प्लीज मैंशन द सेक्शन इफ पॉसिबल सी फॉर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट I for one ninety four I is for that rental income one ninety four J is for professionals. जितना बार बार बोल के याद हो सके ठीक है. So Kunal received one ninety two A uh, may ten lakhs premature withdrawal, but no TDS will be deducted because this is due to illness. This is a genuine reason. If you retire before five years due to illness, due to disability and all. then no tds is deducted and nothing is taxable okay indian bank sanctioned and disbursed 12 crore loan to be limited b limited paid a sum of 1 lakh 20000 as service fee to the indian bank a b limited jo interest pay karega usme to tds katega but service fee pe koi tds nahi hai okay uh, 194a is applicable but that is for interest okay not for the uh, service fee clear agam working in private company is deputed for 5 months where he pays monthly rent of 32000 rent is paid on first day no tds again because for 194 ib your monthly rent should exceed 50000 and it is not exceeding so no tds now uh, sarla received 92000 towards maturity of lic sum assured sum assured ka 10% se zyada agar premium hai to on maturity that lic is taxable and so tds is deducted under 194 da 1% are you all with me i'm revising provision sum assured is the maturity value of the policy ka 10% se zyada अगर आपने प्रीमियम पे किए हैं तो यहाँ तो टेन परसेंट क्रॉस हो गया एट थाउजेंड की जगह टेन थाउजेंड पे किया है तो द मेचोरिटी अमाउंट इज टैक्सेबल एंड वन नाइनटी फोर वन में वन परसेंट टीडीएस कटता है बट यहाँ पे नो टीडीएस बिकॉज अमाउंट रिसीव इज नॉट एक्सीडिंग वन लैख एक लाख रुपए से ज्यादा बढ़ के नहीं होना चाहिए टेक योर टाइम एंड टेल मी विल यू बी एबल टू राइट टू टू लाइन एंड please don't use pencil in the final exam but with the same pen can you underline the clue words so that the paper corrector can do the correction fast and nicer way hmm? generally house property separate problem is asked but this is a very nice combined kind of problem for 7 marks they have asked <clears throat> Mishra is a finance manager and he gets 30000 salary he has two house which are both let out and which in turn provides rent free accommodation theek hai usne dono ghar company ko let out kiya aur ek ghar company ne hi usko rent pe diya to rfa lagega ya nahi in salary yes students didn't take it most of students didn't understand that if i am giving my house on rent to xyz limited this is my rental income taxable under income from house property but if this same house xyz gives to me is it rfa or not 15% of the salary so that rfa many students they didn't take and this is uh, let out to aapko baat samajh mein it's a beautiful question 17000 was interest paid on loan for house 1 for construction of the house 2 ठीक है ड्यूरिंग द प्रीवियस ईयर मिश्रा परचेज रूरल एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड ओके मिश्रा परचेज रूरल एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू इज थ्री लैक्स 
So if you purchase above the uh, actual sale consideration is stamp duty, the difference is taxable in income from other sources. But then this is rural agricultural land. So we'll write a note and nothing is taxable. Assuming that he does not opt for 115 BAC. Okay, right. Can we do this again orally here because it's very simple. This time I'll not do mistake. I'll take salary for 12 months because we'll retire me or them. You know, I'm reminded of one more thing. So many times employee are working for 12 months and they say gratuity is received, pension is received. So if you're working and if you're receiving gratuity and all, it will be fully taxable. Okay. So what is your salary? 3,60,000. RFA, rent-free accommodation. 3,60,000 of salary, 54,000 plus 360. 4,14,000 is the gross salary minus standard deduction, 50,000. So what's the taxable salary? 3,64,000. Salary is 3,64,000 and for rural income, you will write a note. Ki income from other sources mein koi tax nahi lage. Chalo, ab house property hum yehi solve karte. First is both the properties are let out. So while deriving GAV, I am revising the concept. Fair rent or municipal value, whichever is higher. So 75 or 74, whichever is higher. This is my step one. 75. That or standard rent, whichever is lower. So standard rent to the I need to 75 lay low. That or actual rent. One second. Hmm. The screen got stuck up. Okay. Now is this clear to all of you? Hmm? Fair rent or municipal value, whichever is higher. That or standard rent, whichever is lower. That or actual rent. What is actual rent? 65,000, whichever is higher. So what will be the GAV? 75,000. Though actual rent is 65,000, we are going to pay tax on notional rent. That is 75,000. Now the municipal tax paid is 18. 75,000 minus 18,000. 57,000. Standard deduction 30%. 17,100. Will you take any deduction for repairs, insurance, ground rent? No. For all this from the NAV, net annual value, standard deduction is allowed. And interest is not there. So, what is the taxable value? 39.9. Avaja house too. Fair rent 190 or fair rent or municipal value, whichever is higher. So, 195. That or standard rent, whichever is lower. So, 195. Standard rent is missing. This or actual rent, whichever is higher. So, what will I take? GAV 285. How much municipal taxes we have paid? 70,000. So 2 lakh 15,000. And in 2 lakh 15,000, 30% is standard deduction. 64,500. And interest on loan, they have given 17,000. 2 lakh 15,000. 6,400,000. Are you following the way we are doing the problem? Huh? It's a very nice problem. Salary income may 90% of students did it correct, but except they missed out is RFA. See, forget that I am getting rental income, but if I am staying in that house and employer is give, bearing the rent for me, it's an RFA. Yeah? And RFA is 15% of salary or the rent paid. So, ye ghar ka rent is 65,000. Whichever is lower, 15% of salary 
और रेंट पेड फॉर फॉर मी बाय कंपनी कंपनी ने कितना रेंट पे किया सिक्सटी फाइव तो विच एवर इज लोअर सो थ्री सिक्सटी फोर और हाउस प्रॉपर्टी की इनकम कितनी आ रही है आपकी मिला के आई होप यू ऑल आर गेटिंग ये दो मिला के कितनी आ रही है This is thirty nine nine hundred, one seventy three four hundred plus three lakh sixty four thousand, five lakh thirty seven four hundred. चलें आगे five thirty seven four hundred is the question for seven marks over. Anyone is having any doubt? If you're watching it as recording, still, just still, I'm saying, comment below or comment in the Telegram group. Will surely clear your doubt. Some of the students like, ma'am, अभी तक exam prepare नहीं हुआ, हम कैसे करें यारे? MTP करने से भी मैं आपको concepts पढ़ा रही हूँ, मैं pitfall के लिए aware कर रही हूँ. अगर ये नहीं लिया तो, या इसके लिए note नहीं लिखा तो, you will lose the marks. चलो, this is a nice problem for. Capital gain. Capital gain always separate one question is asked. Hmm. Or, मुझे लगता है इसको discuss करके इसका solution यहीं पे कर लेते हैं. It's a nice question. चलो. Rian owned a residential. Fifteen minutes more and we'll be done. It was acquired on September two thousand thirteen for thirty lakhs. And he has sold it for one fifty seven. Rian utilized the sale property to acquire another house. Okay, residential house. पहले घर बेचने के ये sold the house when in twenty and July twenty. Okay, within the sale of house seven months only has purchased the house. Otherwise, also you can purchase the house within three years. Or sorry, purchase within two years. Construct within three years. Now, said property was sold again on October twenty-two. Oh, you have sold the house, purchased the house. So section fifty-four ka exemption liya. Fir exemption revoke ho gaya. So the said property was again sold. Okay. And the property at Panch, the said house was sold on. Thirty first October twenty two, and he purchased another residential house in Delhi. कर क्या रहा है ये? He's selling one house in Noida and buying another house in Panchkula. So Panchkula he is taking a deduction. अब Panchkula का घर बेच के he has again purchased the house in Delhi. So capital gain is revoked. Whenever capital gain is revoked, then uh, important is whatever is the cost of the second house, it is to be reduced by exemption availed earlier, and then you will do the indexation. This, if you want, write it, write it, write it. Again, I'm saying eighty percent papers were wrong. At this, can I my answer? I share. Okay. And one more important thing to tell you is that this house, the first house, was sold in two thousand. वो 2020 में सेल किया था हम्म तो इंडेक्स कब का लोगे आप 1920 का स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट लुक एट 20 एंड दे टेक 2021 गॉन योर होल आंसर इज करेक्ट बट यू टुक मिस्टेक में रॉन्ग इंडेक्सेशन रॉन्ग कैपिटल गेन रॉन्ग एग्जेम्शन रॉन्ग एंड आउट ऑफ एट मार्क्स यू एंड अप गेटिंग टू मार्क्स सेवन है चलो फिर भी दो मार्क्स समझ में आ रहा है जनवरी ट्वेंटी इफ यू सेल द हाउस What is your financial year, बेटा? Nineteen twenty. थोड़ा ज़्यादा डांट पड़ रही है तो भी ठीक है. This now because figures are there and problem is there. Oh sorry. I'll go directly to the answer. अभी तक मैंने एक भी आपको answer नहीं देखे हैं. मैंने पूरे आपको directly कराए हैं. But ये वाला एक मुझे देखना है answer. क्योंकि मुझ मुझे presentation की गलतियाँ बतानी हैं आपको कि कहाँ गलती हो रही है. ये देखो. First house yes sold for one lakh fifty seven thousand, but January twenty twenty, so nineteen twenty. Is me agar two eighty nine ki jagah wrong index le liya to gaya. Okay, and you are getting capital gain. 
now new house he purchased for 25000 so cost of new house or capital gain whichever is lower you will deduct it and nil now this panchkula house also he has sold again for 325 literally i can show you papers answer sheets where students have said okay this house though within some time only it is show, sold now so it is short term if you want to check the dates one minute hum dates check karenge na sale proceeds of above property acquired the house in panchkula ka ghar kharida kab july 20 or uh, sale kab kiya october 22 july 20 july 21 july 22 above 2 years So, ye long term hoga ha students have taken it short term you know why because this is generally heard and taught in classes whenever exemption is revoked it is short term except bonds and all wo long term to rehte hain matlab you sell anything and if you buy nhai rec those uh, bonds government bonds 50 lakh tak now this house is sold above two years. So indexation lagega ha. Lekin cost of the house is two lakh five thousand. It has to be reduced by the exemption await. Are you all getting? Deko. Ye to clear hai na apko ghar sale kiya. Yahan pe bhi pitfall kya tha? I'm not solving the problem because figures are in crores. Forget it. Ab kar loge. Ab pehle bas dates pe dhyan do. You have sold the house in January twenty. So 19 and 20, you have to take the index and you availed exemption. Now this house, if students take 325 minus two short term, I'll have to give them zero because this is not short term, this is long term. Okay, some students took it long term, but they missed this part. It's called highlighter, say highlight. Karo. Whenever you sell the house, and you take indexation, whatever index uh, capital gain is revoked because you sold the house within three years. Two years ke baad, but within three years you have sold the house, no? So exemption is revoked. When exemption is revoked, it will become taxable. Whenever exemption is revoked, it will become taxable not separately reduce from the cost and then take it. Wo advance money forfeited hai, aap confused mat ho. Dhyan se suno. Advance money forfeited today, tax it in other sources. Yeah. And advance money forfeited before 1st April 2014, deduct it. I hope I'm teaching you a lot of concepts. I made you write the notes. But ye to kya hai ki if exemption is revoked, to fir kya karoge? Or stamp duty value bhi konsi date ki loge ye aad rakhna hai aapko. To ye agar exemption revoke ho gaya, to reduce the cost and then take exemption. But again, he has purchased the house in Delhi for 257. Again, can he avail exemption? Yes. That's all for this capital gain problem. Chalo. TDS ho gaya. Third 3A ho gaya. Question number 3B ho gaya. 4A. 4A is a small question of clubbing. But here also what mistakes students have done, you know. Because we study deemed dividend immediately. Deemed dividend na. 222A to E other source. Me. See them. But we thoda sa padte aur bhaagte hai. Pura to padho. I'll tell you what's the pitfall in this problem and you'll be aware about it. Manoj is a singer and wife. So this is a clubbing problem. So I'll take Manoj ki income here, Daya ki income here. Manoj ki own income is 565,000 and it's computed. Daya ki salary income is computed. Agar computed nahi rehti to we would have taken the standard deduction. Now, loan received by Daya from a private company where she holds 35%. So more than 20% voting power. Is she holding beneficial ownership? Yes. Is it a private company? Yes. Is she receiving loan? Then that loan is treated as deemed dividend 
till the extent of accumulated profits. What's accumulated profit with the company? Dekho, a concept. Hai. Deemed dividend, pura to main nahi samjha sakti, but just main zaroor bol rahi hai, aapko dhyan se dekho. Company ka net profit aaya 500. Company ne 200 rupay dividend de diya. 300 rupay apne paas, they have accumulated profit or reserves. Whenever they give this to shareholders, is it deemed dividend? Yes. So, company has already incurred losses in the past two years. Where is the accumulated profit? Dekho, third point ke lena, look here. Ek dam, deem dividend bada hai. Mene 20-25 minute laga hai. It's not law like, chhoď ke nahi jana hai. Rahul ka problem itna easy hai, joh do bar aa chuka hai apko exam. Dhyan se sunu. This is a company. It is having 500 rupees profit. 300 immediately distributed. 200 accumulated. This 200, whenever if I am a private company, I am giving loan to a shareholder who is having substantial interest in the private company, voting power about 20% and all, and I am giving loan. This loan will be treated as deemed dividend for the shareholder of the private company, provided this loan is given out of the accumulated profit 200. Here, loan is given, huh? Is it a private company, huh? Is she having substantial interest, huh? But company ke paas kuch profit hi nahi hai. So what do you do as deemed dividend? Kuch bhi taxable nahi hai. Interesting, no? Yeah? So company is already into losses. So nothing is taxable. Students have literally taken 2,50,000 as deemed dividend taxable in the hands of their. Now, here, he has opted for 115 BAC. Income of minor Ganesh from singing. Ye to kisi ke hath mein taxable nahi hoga. When minor gets income by skill, talent and all, they have to pay the tax separately. Now, what is the cash received by Ganesh from friend? Huh? Manoj. Okay. Now, winning, Ganesh will pay the tax own. But because he has won, one of the friend gifted. Gift will be taxable in the hands of the parent who is having highest income. But here, no tax because it's not exceeding 50,000. Gift other than relatives, if it is given above 50,000, I think almost all the provisions we are revising here. Except I didn't find in this MTP ad list wala question. Interest income received by married minor daughter. Oh, ma'am, you have said minor's income is clubbed in the hands of parent who is having higher income. But if she is married, yes. Minor includes married minor daughter, stepchild, adopted child. So married minor daughter's income will be clubbed in the hands of the parent who is having higher income. Then immediately students kya karte hain? For every minor under section 1032, deduction is given. Uh, sorry, exemption is given. 1500 per child. No upper limit. I hope my paper correction experience is being helpful to you. If so, please comment. Please share this video with more of your friends. And by putting a message that you will learn pitfalls and you will learn the concepts. That's what I'm concentrating here. Abhi ye dekho. Minor married daughter ki income club hogi parents ke saath because it's FD interest. 1500 per child tak exemption is given for every minor. But if he is opting for new tax regime, then no exemption. 1032 exemption is not given. Standard deduction is not given. Nahi milta. So what's final income for Manoj? 5 lakh nahi. 40,000. 6 lakh. 5,000. And this is the same income. Let's see the answer. Manoj. 565 minor ke liye they have written. Please write the note there itself in brief or after the problem also. Cash gift kyun taxable nahi kyunki 50,000 se kam hai. Minor ki daughter. Exemption kyun nahi melega kyunki 115. 6 lakh 5,000. Salary income. Loan not taxable as deemed dividend because they have suffered losses. So you have to write, but ma'am, itna notes likna padega bilkul nahi beta. PPF interest. Agar other source rehta, aise. Outer column exempt. If you write this, you don't have to write the note after the exam. They are giving lot of notes in the suggested answers. 
in the study material for you to understand the explanation. But you apply this trick, it works. Write the note in brief after the question. And when you solve the question, make sure that you don't have to write a lot of things for many things. Like PPF interest, 8,000 out of column exam. So tick, it's gone, it's exempt. Now go back and write a note from the note. Set off carry forward, remember one thing. Once you solve the set off problem, total losses what you are carry forwarding, total income ke baad chote mein likhna hai. Thik hai? Right. Okay, chalo, we'll go to the last question now. Any one you have to do by choice. And so this is a following other details. Set off carry forward ka question hai. Achha question. It's a very nice question. 4B. This question actually we should solve it in writing because uh, set off may na presentation is important. You all know the rules of set off speculative loss in speculative. Kali ki hai amna set off. Those who have attended yesterday they will know ki it is very clear. This is the last one for me to do it in notebook and this one was theory and then we'll complete. So shall we do it in notebook? You comment no, what is more clear. The reason of me solving like this is so that you can read one one bit and do it rather than me shifting to the answer like this. These are the answers. So if we do answers, if we do tick tick, it won't be fun. This is as good as we are solving on our own and question is also there. Okay, let's do this. Salary income is computed so that we don't have to give standard deduction. Now here also dear students, every exam they ask, house property loss, little louder voice I am saying, can be set off with other heads only up to 2 lakh. Ma'am, but house property loss is 240, so 40 ko carry forward karo. Bahar kitna set off karo ge aap sirf 2 lakhs. Abhi humne ek problem number 1 solve kiya, ab fir aya. Achha hai, clear hai ab sab ke liye? Right. So taxable salary, I'm writing in the outer column and uh, that is 3,60,000. House property, mein, there is uh, income 120, a house mein or lost. So intra-head, if I try to set off 340 minus 120, 220 loss is there. Intra-head is clear to all of you? Inner column, inner column. Now, Shall I take 220 in the outer column? No, only 2 lakhs and 20,000 carry forward. House property loss, 20,000 carry forward. 2 lakh you can set off in salary and you can take salary as 1 lakh 60,000. Chalo. Now, business P may profit, hai, business Q may loss. Hai. Can we set off mutually? Yes. And you can take 2,18,000 in the outer column. Now, speculative loss income is 15. Speculative loss, mein, can you set off? Yes. Still speculative loss is there. Kitna? Aapka or speculative loss kitna? And you have to do this sum in 5 minutes in exam because you are going to take more time in solving the case studies. तो ये वाले सम आप जल्दी से करोगे अगर आपने बहुत ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व किए हैं येस्टरडे वी सॉल्व एट टू नाइन गुड प्रो क्वेश्चंस ऑफ़ आरटीपी एमटीपी अर्लीयर एग्जाम्स एंड कॉन्सेप्ट आई हैव गिवन यू इन फोर्टी मिनट्स सो जस्ट चेक येस्टरडे इस वीडियो इट्स एटीन्थ डे क्लास आई can I set off speculative loss in my normal income? Answer is no. So, isko carry forward. Karo. There also you write and last again also you write. Next. Winning from card games. Yes. Owning and maintaining horse races. Carry forward. You cannot set off horse races loss with any other income. And horse races business should be carried on. Return should be filed. And horse races loss can be carried forward for four years. And six or five. Oh, yeah. Problem khatam. Dekho ek baar. 160. Salary income. 2,18,000 business income. 
16,000 yen or 5,000. Three lakh. This many students, they did it correct, appreciated, but I really felt bad. And for that, I want to discuss with all of you. Set of 399 answer aya, but at what cost, you know? Full scape answer sheet. Pehle pure page pe pure explanations likhe hai. Yes, out hai, yes, out hai. Next page you're solving. Don't do that. There only you solve. Last minute note liko. You want and share the suggested answer also. Oh, this we did it in notebook. This is my notebook huh, for today because I don't know how to partition and share two books at a time. Ye dekho. Ye dekho. Salary can be set off house property loss here. Yes. 20,000 carry forward. Business loss 218 bahar. Ye carry forward. Or ye bhi carry forward. And last may again all the three losses you can write. They have not written but you can write. Now some of the students are like ma'am can we set off house property ka loss in the business head? Yes you can. Only one and three are not friends. Salary and this. Nice. This one was simple question. Ki is Aadhaar card mandatory for all along with PAN? Yes, Aadhaar and PAN linking is mandatory. Except for four cases where they don't have the Aadhaar. If they are residing in Assam, Jammu and Kashmir and Meghalaya. Or if they are non-resident. Or if their age is 80 years and above. Or if they are not citizen of India. They are not having Aadhaar. Then they are not going to code Aadhaar with PAN. Otherwise, it is mandatory. Okay? Right. So, I have solved income tax full paper. GST paper was over easy. Literally, literally, if I tell you that in GST paper, mein students have more marks in GST paper. 40 mein se kafi mil gaye. MCQs and all are very simple. Please make yourself very, very sure that the division B mein jo compulsory question aata hai na, Wo input tax credit ka aisa hi question aata hai. But then students are doing silly mistakes. So many students instead of 29, they're getting 25 and 21 answer because of the presentation. So what is output GST, triple column? What is input GST? In that you have to take opening stock ka GST also and purchase ka na. Some students are writing only this. They are not writing this. So then balance to gadbar hoga na. And now set off, you all know how to set off which GST. Hmm? I'm doing it in brief because we have exceeded the time. It being Sunday still, I made short and I have paused my Sarthi batch. That also I'm taking every Sunday. Today we were supposed to start with deductions, but then so many students were saying, ma'am, MTP1, if you discuss weekend while practicing now, make sure that if you practice with presentation, ke saath practice karoge to, Bahut acha hoga. Set off jaise mainne abhi aapko bataya. Huh? Value of supply, there is no change. Those who are watching earlier videos also, 21, 22, koi change nahi hai. But isme value of supply mein, municipal tax, inspection charges, subsidy lena tha because it's not from government. So if you receive subsidy from private trust and all, it is taxable. Late fee was to waived off. Hmm? That's not a part. Late fees is not a part of your value of supply. Baki sub cheese correct thi to may discuss ni I am highlighting on the point. Huh. Now, can someone go for composition scheme if they are producing ice cream, tobacco, pan masala? No, no, ma'am. Immediate answer. Are, but this no, no is for manufacturer. And here this person was not. If a person is manufacturing these restricted items, ice cream, edible oils, tobacco, pan masala, gutka, all, he cannot go for composition scheme. But he is not a manufacturer. He is a trader and his turnover is less than 1.5 crore, which is the limit. Those who are having turnover less than 5 crore, composition scheme, you can file quarterly return. Or set off nahi hai. Jo bhi aapka sale hai. Us pe cut, uh, percentage de do. Hmm? So yes, he can go for composition. Most of the students have written here no. Second is, if a person has made interstate sales, even if his turnover is less than 1.5 crore, he can't go for composition. This was right for all of you. 
ओके एंड यू नो प्लीज रिमेम्बर दे आर ऐसे ना जीएसटी के पेपर को आप प्रेडिक्ट कर सकते हो इंटर में क्योंकि बहुत इजी लेवल पे पूछते हैं बिकॉज दे ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट इनकम टैक्स इज सो वास्ट फाइव हेड्स डिडक्शन टी डी एस सेट ऑफ ये खुद में ही सात आठ चैप्टर है तो ना एक क्वेश्चन आपको डॉक्यूमेंटेशन से आएगा एक क्वेश्चन आपको रिटर्न से आएगा और ये चैप्टर्स आर वेरी स्कोरिंग एंड आई एज अ टीचर वुड सजेस्ट यू टू अटेम दिस इन द सेकेंड हाफ एंड देन लास्ट आवर यू कैन डू द टोटल इनकम वाला क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जिसको मैंने भी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स लगाया था उसको टाइम कम होगा तो कम टाइम में भी आप करेक्ट करोगे अनलेस यू आर श्योर की यू नो इट प्लीज डोंट स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फोर्टीन मार्क्स दिस इज माई सजेशन and then definitely you all know yourself best so if you like this lot of energy on sunday i'm putting up to do this paper discussion and i'm giving you all the pitfalls dekho indexation karna sabko yaad tha lekin index mein jo exemption revoke hua wo minus karke index karo and if your final if your date of sale is january 22 first january 22 your financial year is 21 22 to confuse you they will give you 22 23 आप 22 देख के ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडेक्स ले लिए तो गलत हो जाएगा ना दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज सम केस स्टडी वेर यू नो हाईलाइट पार्ट वॉज वेन विल यू यूज द रिसीट वाउचर एंड रिफंड वाउचर ओके राइट ई वे बिल कैन नॉट बी ऑल्टर्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन कैंसल इट एंड जनरेट अ न्यू वन विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स दैट वॉज ऑल्सो अ थ्योरी क्वेश्चन ये सब सिंपल क्वेश्चन थे अगर आप रीड करोगे तो इसमें कोई ज्यादा करेक्शन नहीं है हाँ एंड देन इफ देर इज अस्टेक कैन यू फाइल रिवाइज रिटर्न आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू नो इन जी एस टी देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ रिवाइज रिटर्न बिकॉज वेन यू फाइल रिटर्न देर आर कॉलम्स की अर्लियर कोई एरर है उसको रेक्टिफाई अभी कर लो तो अर्लियर ईयर का फिर से रिटर्न फाइल करने का तो सवाल ही नहीं है सो दिस बेसिक थिंग ओनली वेंट रॉन्ग एंड हियर द आंसर्स आर गिवन इन पैराग्राफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू टू सजेशंस for getting super duper good marks in gst questions as how correct the paper i'm not please correcting any final papers we are not allowed to do that as a teacher but yes mock test definitely we can so no kya karna hai aapko jab aise receipt voucher debit note credit note e bill pointers mein answer likho 1.2.3 point and in that point also can you underline the clue word ha huh? yesterday i was just discussing with someone as2 ka doubt to as2 cost is this nrv is this so finally aapke pure answer mein finally underline karo na with the same black ball point pen ashish is a uh, not satisfying first condition he is not satisfying any of additional so he is a resident he is a non resident whatever underline that resident wala usi pen se these are some smart small tricks ओके एंड सेट ऑफ के लिए नोट्स मत लिखो आई डोंट वांट यू टू राइट इन फाइनल एग्जाम रेसिडेंशियल स्टेटस के लिए क्योंकि दीप्ति मैम क्लास में पचास बार बोले हैं फॉर रेसिडेंट एंड ऑर्डिनरी रेसिडेंट वर्ल्ड इनकम इज टैक्सेबल ऐसे ही नोट वन लिख रहे हो नोट्स को भी बहुत संभाल के लिखो एग्जाम में एक्स्ट्रा नोट्स मत लिखो मेक श्योर की इन द कॉलम फॉर्म देर इट सेल्फ एंड इफ यू हैव लिटिल डाउट ऑल्सो वट एवर टोटल यू फील करेक्ट यू राइट what is this one side you are getting the correct total so you are writing in pen and other side you are writing in pencil blank ball point pen you have to use start using from today same calculator which you are using for final exam jo aap padhoge wohi exam mein aayega and every day when you sleep when you get up this is a trick taught to me by my teachers and it works i accept myself i love myself i take responsibility for all my actions my decisions and uh, whatever is my planning aur main jo padhti hu mujhe bahut jaldi yaad ho jata hai and whatever i am reading i am able to recollect in exam i am writing my exam calmly and relaxedly and this is what is actually going to happen if someone feels ki by the time i am putting my stationery my mindset is आज अकाउंट्स का पेपर हो गया कल लॉ के लिए कैसे पढ़ना है एंड इफ आई एम वॉकिंग आउट एंड समन इज डिस्कसिंग एंड इफ आई एम नॉट आंसरिंग एंड इफ दे आर फीलिंग बैड दे आर नॉट माय फ्रेंड्स लेट योर फ्रेंड्स बी नोन पूरे पेपर खत्म होने दो फिर मैकडोनल्ड्स में मिलेंगे कहीं पे मिलेंगे और हम आइसक्रीम खाएंगे हम कुछ खाएंगे बैठ के पेपर डिस्कस करेंगे बट नॉट नाउ 
If you feel some worth I have given you, the Guru Dakshina is to share this conceptual knowledge everywhere in all your telegram groups everywhere so that more students can understand that yeah, I did the problem correctly, where did my mistake come from? So this is a small, small capital gain problem, it was correct, beta. 7 out of 7 minutes. But it didn't do the index wrongly. So I hope you all are super duper motivated, charged up. I have got 63% in 10th class, 67% in 12th class. Still I could do CA because of that positivity and confidence. So maintain that. And one last, if Guru Dakshina has given you, then give it. Start relaxing your parents also at home. I'm, I really want to make a video for parents. I don't know when, what, because I want to, that video to come out of, from my heart. Ki parents ko bhi relax karo. Ki I'm taking best decision. One group, two group should be your decision. Not your parents' decision. They are innocent. They wish best for you, but they don't know the depth of study or how much coaching is over for group two. कोचिंग नहीं हुआ है तो मैम मैं एक एडवांस्ड अकाउंटिंग का पेपर थोड़ा तो देख आता हूं वो थोड़ा पढ़ रहे हो उतना तो पूरा ग्रुप वन में ही पढ़ लो ना आई हैव लिटरली टोल्ड दिस दिस हैज हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स एंड आफ्टर राइटिंग एग्जाम गेटिंग रिजल्ट्स दे कम टू मी एंड दे से वन मोर एक्सपीरियंस 2 मिनट्स प्लीज 45 मार्क्स माय स्टूडेंट गॉट and she cleared monica her name is in 2010 mein. but i remember after writing accounts paper she came and she said ma'am insurance claims ke question mein itni silly mistake ki maine uh, dekha hua question aata hai insurance claims repeat question comes and now also mtp i can say all the students have got 8 out of 8 in insurance claims itna easy topic hai exam mein agar kuch tough hai na to kuch bahut easy bhi hai jo aapko marks dega aur wo ye hai now the point i was willing to say is Worst case, one of your paper goes wrong. You had thought ki karenge, but wahan pe ek, ek do question mein, single entry mein, insurance claims mein, kahi kuch galti karke aayo aap. To usko chodo, jo hoga wo hoga, kisi ke saath, koi teachers ke saath, koi students ke saath. As a teacher, even I can discuss after income tax, how was your paper? I never disturb my students. Poore paper ho jane do, uske baad mein lenge. So, ab kisi ke saath paper mat discuss karo, usko chodo and I told her, tomorrow is your law paper, abhi kya kya padoge bolo. Raat mein socha hoge, kal subha kya karoge, mirko pura likke do. Literally 15 minutes I talked with her and that was, she was like, I don't want to give other papers because I'm very sure ke this paper is not, I'm not going to pass. Still, she, I forced her and she wrote all the exam aur usi attempt mein uska clear bhi ho gaya. Ye hota hai because it's a game of mindset. I think I took a lot of extra time in discussing all this. But years of teaching experience of accounts, costing tax, any doubt you have, uh, you can always uh, communicate in the Telegram group. Link is there in any of the... Koi is na ho shayad, to koi purane videos ke description sab mein link hai. Ab join karo aur koi bhi doubt hai, to aap put sakte hai. God bless you all. Thank you so much for being with us and watching this video till here. Do share it with your friends. Bye-bye.